here we have a question in this question we have to determine the voltage amplitude of the source and also determine what would be the voltage difference across the resistor across the inductor and across the capacitor and also find what is the average power supplied by the source here we are given a LRC circuit where the value of resistance is given to us which is 300 ohms while the value of inductance is given to us which is 0.400 H Henry and the value of capacitance is given to us which is 6 into 10 to the power minus 8 Faraday now here the main thing that is given to us that the AC source operates at the resonance frequency means we can say that the inductive resistance value which is XL will be equal to the capacitive in resistance value which is XC so from here we can write omega into L will be equal to 1 divided by omega into C so from here we can write the value of omega which will be equal to under root of 1 divided by L into C so here we can say that the phase difference between the current and voltage across the resistor will be 0 because impedance value will be equal to resistance value as the value of XL and XC are same so from here we can find the voltage across the source that will be equal to the voltage across the resistor so now let's move forward as we discussed we can write the value of XL equal to XC we'll name it as equation number one so from here we can take the difference between them which comes out to be zero so we can say that as we know formula for voltage amplitude of the circuit for LRC circuit is V equal to I into Z where Z is the impedance where the value of Z is written as under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square as the value of XL minus XC is 0 so from here we can say that the total impedance of the circuit is equal to the resistance of the resistor so from here we can write the value of V which is equal to I into R so as we multiply V which is equal to 0 0.5 ampere into 300 ohms that comes out to be 150 volt so we can say that the voltage amplitude of the source is 150 volts and this would be same for the resistor R because the total current is passing through it the value of current passing through is 0 0.5 ampere and its resistor is 300 ohm so we can say that the voltage difference for the resistor will be same of the voltage amplitude of the source which is 150 volt now let's move forward here we have to calculate the voltage across the resistor as we discussed it's 150 volt now we have to calculate the voltage across the inductor and across the capacitor so first of all we have to find the value of inductive resistance and capacitive resistance where the value of inductive resistance is omega into L where omega is the angular frequency and the capacitive resistance is 1 divided by omega into C where omega is the angular frequency so as we know the AC source is resonating at a frequency where we have earlier discussed where we can write omega is equal to under root of 1 divided by LC so from here as we discussed we can write the resist voltage across the resistor that comes out to be 150 volt now let's first find the value of inductive resistance XL which is omega into L and the value of capacitive resistance is 1 divided by omega into C so as we know we can write the value of omega which comes out to be 1 divided by under root of L into C so from here the value of omega comes out to be 6454.972 radians per second so as we know the value of omega let's find the value of XL and XC from there as we know the value of current flowing through them we can multiply I with XL that would be the voltage across inductor and I into XC would be the voltage across capacitor the voltage across inductor comes out to be 2581.988 ohms so from here we can say that the 
resistance comes out to be 2581.988 ohms now let's calculate the value of voltage across inductor that is i into xl so as we know the value of i is 0.5 ampere and the value of xl we have calculated now let's calculate the voltage across inductor that comes out to be 1290 volt so as you can see here that comes out to be 1290 volt so from here also we can say that the voltage difference across the inductor will be equal to the voltage difference across the capacitor because both are having same value of resistance because the value of inductive resistance xl is equal to the value of capacitive in inductance so from here we can easily tell that the value of voltage across capacitor is also 1290 volt but we will do here the calculation where we will multiply angular frequency with the capacitance and find the value of xc which is 1 divided by omega into c and after that as we know the value of xc will multiply it with i and find the value of voltage across capacitor so from here as we know we can find the resistance of capacitor which comes out to be 2581.988 ohms now we'll multiply it with the current i so from here we can say that the voltage across the capacitor comes out to be 1290 volt that is 1290 volt so as we discussed the voltage across the resistor is 150 volt while the voltage across the inductor and capacitor is 1290 volt for both of them now let's move forward here we have to determine the average power supplied by the source so here we can write the formula in order to find the average power supplied which is half v into i into cos phi where phi is the angle between the voltage and current we can say it as the phase difference so first of all let's draw the impedance diagram as you can see here so let's suppose this is the r now this is the value of xl and this is the value of xc so here if the value of xl was not equal to the value of xc we have to take some difference let's suppose this would be the difference where the value of xl minus xc comes and after that we would calculate this value of z so here as we know and this would be the this would be our phase difference as we take parallel to the z vector and this would be our phase difference phi but as we know the value of xl minus x is 0 so we can say that the phase difference between the current and voltage is 0 where we can substitute the value of cos phi where the value of phi can be substituted as 0 degree so the value of cos phi comes out to be 1 so from here we can say that the power supplied by the source comes out to be half of v into i so as we know the voltage across the voltage of the source which is 150 volt and we know the value of i from here we can easily calculate the value of average power supplied or we can write the value of v which would be i into z where the value of z is i into r as from here we can write rewrite this equation and write it as half into i square into r so from here also we can substitute the value of i and r and find the value of average power supplied by the source so now here as we discussed the total impedance is r because the value of xl and xc are same so from here we can say that the value of tan phi is also zero because the value of resistive resistance of inductor and resistance of capacitor are same so from here we can say that the value of phi is equal to zero so as you substitute the value of phi in this equation we can find the value of cos phi that is 1 so from here we can write half of i into r into i into cos phi so as you substitute the values we can find that it comes out to be half of 0 0.5 ampere whole square into 300 ohm into cos 0 where the value of cos 0 is 1 so from here the value of average power comes out to be 37.5 watt so we can say that for this given lrc circuit where the source is at a resonating frequency we can say that the average power supplied by the source would be 37.5 watt 
Thank you.